Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So, Shad, a lot of farmers are going out. They're going to obviously treat their seed uh, early springtime here. Excellent. Uh, what are some of the most important things in terms of treating our seed? Uh, some of the most important things when you start to treat seed is really the application. Uh, the seed treatment technology that has been developed over the years is really uh, gone are the days where you can drip it on or tell if it's more red as it goes out of the end of the auger. Having the right application and the right equipment to do it is vital. You need that first, that primary application of the seed treatment getting on the seed, but you need that secondary application of the mixing, the proper mixing, whether that be an auger or on some of the, the seed treating machines, a drum type roller. Having that is essential because you need to get, the, the seed treatment technology now, you need to get it to the proper application. So having that right equipment makes it good for the right job. So good equipment that's calibrated though. Uh, that's that's one step of the whole process when you are treating seed is the calibration process knowing that okay well at this time of the day I'm doing this much because over the course of the day temperatures change relatively humidity changes and that varies that will vary what you're treating so knowing how to run your equipment is also another important aspect of that too. Putting it on, realizing that you may have to adjust your pressure from the time you treat in the morning to the to the afternoon back until the evening because as like I've said before, the humidity and temperature play a role in the treating factors. And so when we talk about good coverage, it's not just a it's not a visual look. Oh it looks good to me. Look, we're getting lots on there. Um, if you're if you're measuring it that way you're probably putting too much on. Yes and no. Uh, uh, you have to have you have to take the ownership and you've got to believe in the calibration that you've done on your machine you can tell a reference on uh, you can reference your seed visually and look at it because what you're looking for in your seed sample is a uniform seed coverage you want a uniform seed treatment coverage on all seeds you don't want some with a lot of lot of a lot of pigment coloring or some with none others with less you want a uniform application looking at that visually saying that uniform application is really a good indication of how well you're doing as a treating job and then you can kind of tweak it but Real, realistically, uh, most of the seed treatment equipment out there, they've done calibrations. You will have your charts. Follow your charts and, and take the confidence to know that you have to take some confidence in the equipment. But doing the actual calibration yourself, uh, it can be a little bit of a time-consuming process. But doing that is going to ensure that you're getting the right amount of product to ensure the most efficient use of your seed treatment on your seed.